Tip number five is typing formulas and fractions into dialog boxes. So for example, I could throw a dimension right here and it's just some random number right now, but I could say, I want that to be five eighths. So I type in five slash eight. And when I hit enter, it figures out that fraction or formula for me, okay? I could also do formulas. So for example, uh, let, me, let me fix this here. I'm gonna do a dimension here. Let me say dimension. Again, I want this to be the same as this guy. So I'm just gonna click on it and you'll see it references it. I'll say okay. And that changes the uh, width to be whatever that width is. And then I could come in here and say, for example, I wanna put a dimension between these two and I want this to be whatever that dimension is divided by two, okay? And I could even put this into parentheses and say, you know, plus 1.5 or something like that. And you'll see that it actually figured out that formula for me and it obviously pushed it out. So let me edit that guy. And you'll notice that it remembers my dimension, my formula, I should say. So instead of 1.5, let's just make it a 0.5, for example. Okay. So you can type in formulas. You can do cosine, sine, tangent. You could do random numbers. In fact, there's a web page in our help menu that shows all the different formulatic um, equations that you can do in here, okay? So it's a quick way of figuring out, for example, like equal spacing or, or anything like that. I want these to be the same height, so I'll say collinear. Let's just do that and that. Now, of course, they're the same height. Okay, so typing formulas and fractions. And again, I could even do, for example, I could do, um, let's just say, three quarters minus, you know, one quarter or something like that, and it'll figure that out for me.